Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's Rad, welcome to Rad Kutarot and this is going to be a Leo Sun, Leo Moon and uh, Leo Rising weekly tarot reading for April 15 to April 21st, uh, 2019. And while I'm shuffling the cards, I want to remind you once again that uh, this is going to be a, a general reading for Leo Star Sign and... Uh, for that reason, the reading itself is going to uh, relate to different things and as well is going to resonate in a different way with uh, every single different Leo. Uh, if you want, however, your personal situation to be analyzed by me through Tarot and to give you uh, what is going to happen with it or to tell you what is going to happen with it uh, in its future, that is a subject of a private reading and uh, for such, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And uh, there you're going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and $15 for the private call readings. That being said, going to the uh, Leo a weekly reading for April 15 to April 21st, the first card which is marking the topic of your week, Leo's that is going to be the Knight of Pentacles. Followed by the second card, which is uh, the negative approach toward the situation that you can make. That is going to be the Four of Wands. Uh, the third card is going to be the positive approach toward the situation that you can do toward the Knight of uh, Pentacles here. That is going to be the Five of Cups. And the last one, which is the final outcome of growth, should you follow here the guidance of Tarot, that will be the Queen of Pentacles. So we do have the Knight of Pentacles followed by the Four of Wands, then it is the Five of Cups, and the last one that will be the Queen of Pentacles. Um, so it's, it's kind of like this week is going to be a correction or exam for you uh, from one or another reason, meaning that, uh, I don't know how really to explain it, but let's say that uh, you are to restore that type of, 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 of Fate, let's say, in someone that already bailed out on you, or that, um, how can I place it? it? It basically lost fate on you. <clears throat> so, uh, that will be, however, a, a circumstantial result uh, of uh, the topic of your week. So, the topic itself for you, that is going to be the Knight of Pentacles. And as you can see, the Knight sits here holding the Pentacle, which simply um, symbolize valor and having an empty field in front of him meaning that the knight is deciding where to plant where to plant his efforts so one can bear fruit usually this card uh, when it's a topic of the week it does point that you guys are to focus on what is substantial for you on your primary goal and not allowing you know things to distract you along the way being uh, very systematic and consistent with your approach with small and steady steps which are you know small and steady actions should i say that way which are by the way as well supported with a the right determinations and the right convictions behind them you have to make very strong impression into people which are assessing you or people which you want to make an impression in general uh, on another hand, the Knights of Pentacles could symbolize that you are going to be granted a, a time to take a break in a sense of the like, for example, you may plan to take a vacation this week and that will generally going to happen should you do so. However, should you decide to take a break from the activities that you are doing, it's advisable with the night that uh, you spend that time that you are on a break. Uh, among nature, somewhere on the mountains, you know, and so on and so forth. The accompanied card here that is going to be the page, uh, the uh, Ace of Pentacles, excuse me. So the formation is the passive supporters. And we're talking about here uh, through your system, uh, systematic and consistent approach, being very simple with your actions, yet very systematic, as I said, you are to receive a rare opportunity to further your goal. With this combination, you showing that um, you are determined to make the things work, it is likely that you are going to create a 
harmoniously harmonious flow into your relationships and as well success into your business so um what i can conclude just from the topic is that this week uh, you leo's your hard work is going to be paid off in a sense of like hard work placing into uh solidifying your relationship or pushing through uh, career-wise, it will definitely gonna be paid off in the long term, that is, because the um, Ace of Pentacles, it is, it is a card that manifests itself in the long run. Right now, this is just the rare opportunity to further your goal. Uh, like I said, either to create a harmonious flow into your relationship or to become successful into your business. Which leads us to the second card, guys, that is what you should not do throughout the week, and that is to be the four of wands. So uh, it's simply to accept that you are done. Uh, that is what you should not do. With the four of wands here on this position, it means that there is a, a, a vital, or how can I place it, a, a, a vital detail that currently is overlooked. And now throughout this week, you will have the opportunity to get back into that detail, important detail, and attend to it this time around, which will once again allow you to progress forward. That is, This is where the rare opportunity for you to further your goal resides. In this detail, which was overlooked until this very moment, but now as you will have that um, consistency, you know, t taking one thing after another, it is highly likely to see where actually the crack in your boat is. The uh, accompanied card here that is going to be the Tree of Cups. So the formation is a um, active enemies, what we do have. And basically what the shade of Tree of Cups here points is that whatever is going to work for you throughout the week, I mean, that approach that you're going to make, it's uh, very difficult to be comprehended by others, meaning that it is very unlikely that you are going to obtain that uh, vision and insight of what you need to attend to through the advice and guidance of other people. I mean, you have to involve yourself into all this procedure with making slow and steady steps toward, for example, solidifying your relationship or uh, progressing forward with your career. And that way you how and this is the way, excuse me, how you're going to find out what really is missing or what is um, causing obstructions here and also how to actually overcome it in any way but uh, with these cards here what we have is that uh, following the it's not even the guidance but more like the example of others or how others do their thing or how others do their job it what obstructs you to see where you really does the thing do the thing wrong or how you can improve your current performance so you have to detach yourself from the ideas of the others and as well from the advice of the others and try to do things your way and it is likely that you're going to see leo that your way it is you are to find a way excuse me that actually works for you from there we go to the next card which is the positive approach to all the situation that is going to be the five of cups so five of cups points to temporary or a partial loss without one um, losing their self-respect Additionally to that, one pushes in the same direction. In this follow-up, the Five of Cups relates to the, to the recognition of what you did or what you performed in what kind of field, excuse me, you were performing wrongly and fixing that thing, scrapping the situation until this very moment, re um, reestating it with a new image, should I say that way, and proceed on forward with it. Well, with it so with the five of cups here we are seeing um you having to abandon certain ways or certain position in favor of the success of the grand scheme of things or of the grand achievement of what is substantial that you are after the accompanied card here this is going to be the knights of uh, the Knight of Swords. So uh, <clears throat> the sh the, the uh, combo here it is a passive neutrals. So with the Knight of Wands, hmm. Well, uh, it's 
can I place it? That relates to the clamorous belief that even though you are facing a certain setbacks in a sense of that uh, you will have to reevaluate uh, the things that you have achieved until this, period, until this very moment or get back a couple of steps um, so you can attend to this, uh, to this important detail and then proceed with this important detail attended, you know, uh, that time that you're going to lose actually is going to worth it. So we do have that clamorous belief that actually you're doing the right thing here, which is going to completely synchronize with your emotions, recognizing that it is not too late to get back and fix the things which were going wrongly. Now, once again, it's not necessarily this, uh, whatever it is going wrongly is not necessarily that way because you did it, uh, you, you did it in a way to go wrong, but it is because, like I said, you were following the wrong people, uh, the wrong people advice, which you're going to recognize this, uh, this week, and you are to fix what you did, uh, wrong either career wise or either relationship wise relationship wise if i have to give you an example should have been something like you know taking an example of a uh, uh, a foreign relationship let's say to your very best friend where they are uh, seemingly very harmonious with one another and you want to achieve that harmony with your uh, partner or trying to incorporate the same kind of uh, strategy which your friend does in their relationship which isn't working and so on and so forth so you abandon these ways and try to uh, try to create that harmonious flow into your relationship in your personal image it's all about your image here leos you gotta find in this week what uh, once again what works for you and not what works and you should not try what works for others and as a result of all that, uh, we do have the Queen of Pentacles. So Queen of Pentacles manifests itself as a, a person, a very self-absorbed uh, absorbed person, okay? And that is a, a person who either denied you back in the days or deprived you from, the, from an opportunity which they could have gave you. So you showing here throughout the week or uh, following your um, grand thing, grand achievement, or how can I place it, substantial goal of yours, you're going to prove them wrong that they have either denied you or deprived you from uh, from this opportunity. So just to give you an example, let's say a couple of weeks ago, you had that love interest here that you want to try it out which was either this woman or this man, you tried to make a move, they just laughed at your face and they said, you have no chance, you don't even think about it. Well, this time around, as you keep your presence around them, you know, showing your consistency with life in general, you know, sorting your things together and not following other people's advice, meaning that foreign opinion matter, matters little to you, then that person may have a change of heart and say, well, Probably I have been a bit premature with denying this one, so maybe I should give them a chance. And same thing goes uh, regarding uh, relation uh, career. Excuse me. The the bottom line is that this person, once giving you a red light, now realizes that you are a. It's not like an option available for them, but let's say um, a potential for them that they are yet to explore. That could be as well the person who denied you from starting a job, all right? But this time around this week, they could call you and say, you know, I reconsidered so you can come here to work on a trail for three months and so on and so forth. The accompanied card that is going to be the, um, the Empress, so this person that we do have here definitely is going to create uh, with their goal, with their green light that they're giving you, they're going to create a, uh, a quite of comfortability in your life, in your life with, the, um, with the Empress card. 
uh, the very least guys um, it's difficult to explain it really uh, the very least you are not gonna feel this this wavering that things are uh, the things are not working out for you and from now on when you relate your life with uh, with this situation or you do have the support of that person behind your back uh, the future decisions that you will have to make which are quite substantial for yourself for example which kind of career path should i take or uh, whom i should associate myself with and so on and so forth are going to be much more bearable to be taken and uh, as well uh, for one or another reason uh, this particular person also going to make a uh, uh, also going to take a, a a huge role in you growing and maturing even further in your life one way or another but what is certain here with uh, with this week for you Leos is that you're gonna have you're going to make a, a significant progression toward your uh, prime goal now what's your prime goal it does depend on every single different leo that could be a specific person it could be a specific job and so on and so forth but you will you have to be consistent and your plan needs to be very simple so you don't confuse this one which comes at the end and uh, actually allows you to do something to do stuff that you previously couldn't because you didn't have the opportunity to do so so that being said, Leos, this was your weekly tarot reading for uh, April 15th to April 21st, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And once again, as a general reading, um, it's going to relate uh, for... A, uh, it's going to relate to different stuff and it's going to resonate in a different way with every single different Leo. But should you want a, a private reading in which uh, we are going to discuss your personal situation and I'm going to tell you what is going to happen with it for its future, that is a subject of a, a private reading, obviously. And uh, for such, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and $15 for the private call readings. Rod signing up now. See you next time. Bye.